In this last section, we'll talk about chromosomal aberrations or cytogenic disorders. And these are alternations in the number or structure of chromosomes. We're talking about autosomes or sex chromosomes. And this is studied by cytogenetics, where the cell cycle would be arrested in metaphase, colchicin, and stained by the Jemsen method, G banding, and photographed. Uh, photographing and karyotyping. Remember that usually we, sh we should have two sets of 23 chromosomes. We have 22 pairs of autosomes and then we have the sex chromosomes, or either XX or XY. And that the cytogenic disorders are relatively frequent. One in 160 newborns or 50 percent of spontaneous abortions. So let's talk about the numerical abnormalities. What is Euploidy. Um, euploidy is normal, and this is 46, 2n. What is polyploidy? This is 3n or 4n. This would always result in a spontaneous abortion. And how about um, aneuploidy? This would also not be consistent with life. Trisomy is 2n plus 1, um, 47, which is compatible with life. And monosomy is 2n minus 1, which is autosomal, and it is incompatible with life. So we've learned these, the basics about numerical uh, abnormalities. And um, let's talk about the structure. So structural abnormalities. Uh, there, there could be a breakage followed by loss or rearrangement, such as a deletion or translocation. If you remember, we talked about the two main types of mutations such as chromosomal mutations or gene mutations and the chromosomal mutations there were five types deletion, duplication, inversion, translocation and non-disjunction and if you think about deletion for example you might think about Cri du Chat um, and uh, if you're thinking about translocation it could be Burkitt's lymphoma which is cancer so generally, there was a loss of chromosomal material, uh, and loss of chromosomal material is more dangerous than the gain of uh, chromosomal material. So I'm sorry, it's not always that there would be a loss of chromosomal material. The point here is that if you're losing chromosomal material, it's more dangerous than if you gain it. And abnormalities of sex chromosomes are much better tolerated than autosomal abnormalities. Um, and abnormalities of sex chromosomes are sometimes asymptomatic, excuse me, are sometimes symptomatic in adult age, which uh, means that the person, for example, might be uh, infertile. We're talking about sex chromosomes here. And usually um, the origin de novo origin, so both parents and siblings are normal. Let's talk about the autosomal disorders here. So the first one is trisomy 21 or Down syndrome. This is the most frequent type and there are 1 in 700 births. Parents have a normal karyotype. The maternal age has a very strong influence. As we know, um, around 20 years of age uh, or less, there's 1 in uh, 1,550 live births and greater than 45, we have 1 in 25 live births. And um, most frequently, the abnormality is in the ovum. The ovum is, un is under a long time influence of the environment, so we're talking about older eggs. Clinical symptoms mental retardation, IQ 25 to 50, flat face, epicanthus, congenital heart defects, neck skin folds, skeletal muscle. Uh, hypotonia, and hypermobility hyper of joints, increased risk of acute leukemias, and the mortality 40% un, until 10 years old due to cardiac complications. How about less frequent disorders? For example, trisomy 18, which is Edwards syndrome. That's one in every 8,000, and even less frequent is trisomy 13, which is Patel syndrome. Um, which is one in uh, fifteen hundred. Uh, so, in, you know, Patel syndrome. You might think of the cleft, uh, cleft palate.
and I believe polydactyly hands. Uh, I'd be confused there. Uh, have to check that out anyway. Sex chromosomal disorders. Um, a number of karyotypes uh, ranging from 45XO to 49XXXXX45Y, which is compatible with survival. And normally um, in females, one of X is inactivated. Um, all somatic cells contain the bar body. And remember that uh, the male phenotype is encoded by Y. Kleinfelter syndrome, this is 47XXY, one in every 1,000 males. An additional X is either of paternal or maternal origin. This is due to advanced maternal age or history of irradiation of either of the parents. And there is a wide range of clinical manifestations. Distinctive body habitus, increased length between the soles and, pu and pubic bone, reduced body and facial hair, and... Uh, gynecomastia, which is uh, growth of breasts on the man, and testicular atrophy, um, impaired sper uh, spermatogenesis, sterility, um, it's, there's, they are rarely fertile. And then how about Turner syndrome, which is 45XO, and this is in females, and one in every 3,000 females, primary hypogonadism in uh, phenotypic female. There is growth retardation, short stature, webbing of the neck, low posterior hairline, broad chest, cubitus valgus, and streak ovaries. So we would have infertility, amenorrhea, infantile uh, genitalia, and little uh, pubic hair. So now let's talk about prenatal diagnostics. So we're constantly improving our techniques, but generally amniocentesis, which is an analysis of the amniotic fluid, is done. But now we have blood type, uh, blood tests, and seems and and ultrasounds. A lot of th things are improving, but still, amniocentesis is the main one. Cytogenic analysis, karyotyping, for example, uh, with Down syndrome, biochemical activity of various enzymes, for example, with Tay-Sachs an analysis of various specific genes, uh, so for example, to find uh, the CFTR gene in uh, cystic fibrosis or through PCR. Is it the CFTR gene? I'm going to look that up. And sex of the fetus uh, with X-linked disorders such as um, in hemophilia, so we can find out a lot uh, before the child is born prenatally and uh, for pediatric diseases we must consider infants and children the first year of life is we see a high mortality rate and um, the highest mortality is in the neonatal period the first four weeks and the perinatal perinatal first week and between the first year and 15 years of age the leading cause of death is injuries from accidents so we see a lot of things we should know here, things that are known, things that really we don't know. And finally, let's talk about congenital malformations. The last slide. Structural defects present at birth. Some may become apparent later. And the ideology is either genetic or environmental. So consider viral infections such as rubella or cytomegalovirus during the first three months. Other infections such as toxoplasmosis, uh, syphilis, HIV, and uh, drugs, thalidomide, alcohol, cytostatics, uh, irradiation, and in 40 to 60 percent of the cases, the cause is unknown. But we are making a lot of improvements. For example, with the, you know, thalidomide uh, was a drug that was given to parents, I think it was in England, or to moms in, in England, to uh, help with the pregnancy process. I think it was warning sickness. But now it is. I mean, after the, all the problems, now it is actually used uh, for leprosy, and I think muscular dystrophy. I don't know, I need to check that out, but anyway. Um, we've learned a lot here about common genetic diseases, and if you are one of the one or 
two viewers on this video. Thank you very much.